Hi, it's Corinne for the Cut at Home Design Team, and today I'd like to share with you the Sizzix Adhesive Sheet Pack. This I have in the 6x6. They are permanent adhesive, and 10 sheets come in this. And it's great because it makes anything into a sticker. So today I plan on using this Spellbinders die, and I'll have all the products linked at Cut at Home's blog. Um, if you're looking for more information. This one is the floral die, card front die, and as you can see it's an intricate die. I plan on using it with some fun foam and some pattern paper. So I will go ahead and use the permanent adhesive. You peel it up on one side I'm going to add my fun foam to it. I will cut off any excess here. And I can save this for a smaller um, project later. I'm just cutting off the excess from the sticker sheet. And now you really want to press this down, and that's going to adhere your adhesive to your fun foam. So I'm really going to give that a good press with my bone folder. Make sure it's adhered down very well. And now when I peel this back, it leaves this fun foam sticky. So let me pull out a piece of paper from the Prima stationer's desk. I think I'll use this one here, gorgeous. And now I will just add the paper to the sticky side of my fun foam. And again, I want to press this down. I will cut off any excess. I will also be using my Sizzix Precision Base Plate. This for me, you have to have if you want to use an intricate die. You can also use several shims of paper, but I find that this works best for me. And I'm going to place this in here. So I have my multi-purpose platform, I have my Sizzix Precision Base Plate, and now I will put my top cutting plate and run this back and forth a, a few times. I also like to move it before running it through again. So I will probably turn it this way. And now I'm just going to pop these out. I think I'm
cut off this edge here. And this only took me maybe two minutes to pop all that out. Very simple to do. And that's because of the precision base plate. It made it very simple to um, get all those negative pieces out. Now I want to add this to my card base. Like I said earlier, I could have put it put adhesive on the back as well. And that way I would have just removed the adhesive and stuck it down. But I didn't think it'd be a problem to adhere it on my card base. I have a white standard A2 sized card. So this is five and a quarter by four and a half. And I will go ahead and finish up this card. I hope that you find these adhesive sheets helpful and there's so many uses and for so many intricate dyes that you have. Please check out Cut at Home's blog and I'll have all the information linked. Thanks so much for stopping by.